what's going on everybody so today let's talk about Deadshot all right every time I watch Suicide Squad you know it's just amazing how David Ayer selected him Will Smith to play the role and you know that character just you know within the live action you know it's, it's just awesome honestly um, it's a shame that we haven't gotten Ben Affleck's solo film because I want to see Deadshot go up against Ben Affleck's Batman. We need it. Just when you see that cameo, it's not enough. It's just it's just a tease of what and how badass it would have been if we would have gotten Ben Affleck's Batman, um, you know, his film. And Deadshot would have been one character I would really, really want to see, you know, like fully developed and, you know, like in action besides, you know, what we got in uh, Suicide Squad. And Will Smith plays the role amazing like I said you know and you know it's just just words can't justify the little bit that we got in that movie of uh, Suicide Squad and you know it's just like I said I want to see more of him you know and like like I said now of course he belongs in, in Gotham and you know and he belongs in a Batman film it would have been amazing to actually have him you know go up against Ben Affleck in his Batman film because man it's just awesome you know and it's just when you see Deadshot in the alley with his daughter that right there is just emotional you know like that's a dad reaching out to his daughter you know and like looking out for her and she's aware and she knows that he does bad things you know that this dude's a criminal and you know she's like she still loves him you know and it's like she doesn't care about that she just cares about her dad she doesn't see a criminal she sees her dad and that right there is just touching because you know like as a son or a daughter anybody can relate you know and and you know either you have a, a father or you don't um it's, it's just touching in one way or the other you know and seeing how will smith plays the character and he's trying to look out for his daughter um and then when batman just comes in you know to like take him down and that little like moment when they fight real quick and Deadshot, he points, you know, his gun at Batman. And then ba Batman's like, you know, I don't want to do this in front of your daughter. In the sense that he doesn't want to kick his ass in front of his daughter. So that's understandable in that part, you know. And, and it just shows that even Batman right there is like, he stands for justice. Because he's like, dude, I don't want to do this in front of your family. You know, like, just, just do it peacefully. And Deadshot's daughter gets in the way, you know, like she gets in the middle like saying don't kill the batman you know like she believes in batman so he's a symbol of hope always you know and justice and Deadshot's looking like come on get out the way that right there is just i i see all three of all three point of views why you see batman he's like what are you gonna do you're gonna kill your daughter to kill me and take me down you see the daughter's point of view is like you're gonna kill me you're gonna go through me to take batman out but I just want my dad. And Deadshot, his point of view is like, I don't want to take my daughter out, but I need to take Batman out. Because, of course, he's a criminal and he knows he's being caught. So it's like, it's just awesome. That just that alley scene. And it's like, I want more of that, you know. And what's another thing, too, that's amazing from that one scene is, well, at least for me, is that it's snowing in Gotham. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of Batman Returns my favorite movie because you have the snow in Gotham it's dark it's an alley um there's all type of emotions there's all type of feelings and you know just you can connect with the character you know and and that right there on honestly that's just cinema quality you know and it's like wow you know like I, I just want more of it you know honestly and of course what we got in Suicide Squad everything is good and you know it's all cool and stuff like that but overall you know with just the lore with Batman and, and, and Deadshot and, you know, what these two have gone through. And I want to see what they've been through and what they're going through in Gotham, you know, before the events of Suicide Squad. That right there is just wow, you know, and it's like every time Deadshot puts his mask on and, you know, he takes out those, those bad guys and stuff like that, like when he's on the rooftop, again, another one that's good. It, it's just... I, I just don't have words for it. It's just how awesome and enjoyable and entertaining the DCEU was, you know? We're not going to stop fighting. We will continue to fight for 
release the air cut and of course restore the Snyderverse but you know overall it's just a shame what WB has done to rob us from all of these gems you know that we as fans deserve you know because why tease us and why give us something but then not continue with it you know again WB you brought this upon yourself what are your thoughts drop your comments hit the subscribe turn the notification on help this channel grow and as always until next time